Oh, how the upgrades with Upstart have begun. Citigroup just raised their price target from 33 to 56. This is a lot of analysts, guys, that have been focused on the bigger cap names. Those are the ones that obviously get the majority of the coverage, okay? Not the smaller cap names, especially ones like this that have been left for dead, okay? People thinking that they can't change or beat FICO and that it's all a scam with their AI and how it allows, you know, much more approvals at a lesser default rate. There's gonna be haters on that, right? But it, when interest rates go down, this is why I've been getting people, I've been prepping you all for so long on this stock while interest rates, remember they paused them for a while and I was like, get ready when the cuts happen, this immediately helps all of Upstart's businesses. And you've probably heard me say this a million times, but for those of you who are, have, are watching this video for the first or second time, uh, Upstart has their personal loans division, their auto loans division, and then the HELOC vision, uh, part of their business. And that's, you know, home equity lines of credit. So all these obviously benefit when interest rate cuts happen, right? Personal loans, we know obviously more people will be open to taking out a loan because now their interest rate is lower, right? So obviously cheaper loan, more money to spend elsewhere. And so more people, there's usually more loan volume growth, right? Also with auto loans, more people are gonna buy that car after been sitting on the sidelines with higher interest rates for a long time and now they're starting to come down. So people will go out and you know take that auto loan uh, application out, right? And again, that helps their business. And that rolled out two years ago with their auto loans. So that's just starting to grow. And then the HELOC part of their business is the newest. So this was only released a year ago, but this is what's the best out of their division that has the most potential in my opinion, because it if somebody can't pay back their loan on a HELOC, then they get their home. So it's much different than personal loans, where which, uh, Consumers can default on those and there's nothing, right, Upstart can do except try to get a, a creditor to get that money back, right? But they're not gonna do that probably, right? Also auto loans, right, can default. That's the next thing to go usually after the personal loans, okay? And credit cards are up there too. But then HELOCs, like I said, it's tied to your home. So if you're not paying back, the bank gets your home and that's why those get paid in the HELOC business I think will grow nicely for upstart so i'm really happy they got into that industry another reason why i like this stock long they just have a huge total addressable market guys we're talking like over three trillion i believe it's a bigger number than that even okay and so it's exciting and loans if you think lending is not going away then upstart using artificial intelligence too with that whole boom going on if they keep showing which they have that their ai model is approving more loans at a lesser default rate, more and more banks are gonna go with them and we're already seeing them partner with more and more, okay guys? So Upstart's an exciting company, it's ran up huge. Obviously I recommended this in the teens when it was in the low 20s, now it's in the low 50s, right? But if you get a big pullback, I would just be patient with this, buy, it may go lower because it's volatile as heck as we all know by now, guys. But you buy on those big dips and just wait it out and just trust in lending to pick up and the year over year comparisons with this company are gonna get easier and easier to beat because they're working off of very low numbers from last year. And that's why I don't see much getting in the way of the stock price you know, over the next four quarters, probably longer guys, okay? But maybe one more quarter where the interest rate cuts haven't filtered through the economy for the entire quarter. So this quarter may be okay, but it's the guidance that matters. And I think their guidance is only going to improve. So that's why I'm holding shares. So you know, I own this in my long-term account where I haven't touched it. And then I got the short-term account where I do trade it, where I sell the rips and buy the dips, okay? And I've done that several times and I still have a little bit in my short-term account that I'm letting ride because it hasn't hit my stop limit. So again, remember stop limits only work during market hours. You know that I keep repeating that in case people forget. You have to watch it in the pre-market and the aftermarket, okay? If you're trying to right, get out. But Upstart, like I said, has the macro behind it with the interest rate cuts. Their fundamentals are gonna get better with the earnings, okay? And then the technical, I mean, the chart looks pretty darn good when you look at it. So let's see how high she can go. I remember it hit like 72 guys last summer. So maybe we can try to push up there at some point. And then they're gonna have to prove it obviously with their numbers. And like I said, I think they're going to do that guys. It just makes sense. So upstart going long, let's see what's possible. A lot of us have already collected close to a three bagger, okay? Since I was recommending this at 18 bucks a share. And actually right now, that's at 54 right around there. That's a three bagger right there. So nice. I am very excited to see how much higher this can be down the road.